So in this video, we're going to show you how to describe and probe our most common tool, which is the CNMG 432. This is what the tool data looks like. The first angle is 95 degrees. The second angle is 80 degrees, and it's called a general out. And we have a radius of 0.0312. So let's go ahead and put it in the control. So now from the control page, and then we're gonna go to tool file. We're gonna go that screen first. This is tool number four. So we're gonna arrow down to tool four. And we're gonna overwrite what's in here now. So we're gonna go general turning, outer diameter. The holder type is number one, which is an an OD turning tool. The tool nominal diameter, this is more for milling, but you can also put in the shank diameter. So now this one is the cutting angle. This is the first angle from the paper. So 95 degrees, and then the cutting angle, the width, this is the insert angle. This is 80 degrees. And then width or diameter of the tool shank is a one inch shank. So now this is uh, F number, which is the file number. So we're gonna go to the page, go to the tool data. Now, tool station number has tool file number of the same. Always make these the same. There's multiple tool files. But for simplicity, run station one, tool file one. Station four, tool file four. So we're gonna arrow down. Tool diameter is the shank width, one inch. The nose radius is 0.0312. And now this is the spindle rotation, forward or reverse. This is a left-handed tool so I'm going to push this arrow, turn the chuck in the counterclockwise direction, or as most of you know, MO4. So that's this arrow here. And then it's gonna say it's a left-handed tool, and then our tool is described. So the next thing we gotta do is we have to probe the tool. And that's down here on the tool set. I cleared it out. We're in hand control, and then we're gonna hit tool set measure. And the probe should come down, but in this case, there's a broken gear in it, so I need to help it. Once the probe's down, we go to the hand control, and then jog the machine over to the first tool eye and then the second tool eye. So the first tool eye, so get it within 100 thousandths or so, and then on the screen, we're going to push the down arrow. So we're gonna push this button, and then the jog comes up automatically. So now we're gonna jog it downward, And now we got a value in there. So we jog it up. Turn this off. And now we'll jog to the next, or move it to the next eye. And then push this arrow here because we're gonna probe it on the face. Jog comes up automatically. and then back it off. One of the things to watch is do not try to move it with the pulse wheel with these buttons lit up. So turn it off and then move it out of the way. And then from there, shut off the tool eye. But in this case, the, the gear's busted, so we just 
lift it out of the way. This machine was pretty damaged when I got it and I haven't addressed the tool eye. Uh, so that's how to set and probe a CNMG 432. Thanks for watching.